cose. welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make pleated slash tennis skirts and oh my gosh guys these are so in right now they're so cute so trendy and if you guys want to cope some at my group you can just type in lovable with a dot and then go to the store and wha-bam there is a blue tennis skirt right there and it's so cute and this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Obviously, you're going to want to search up pixlr.com and it should bring you to this page. Got a new update and honestly, it's not that bad. Like, I feel like a lot of people are saying it's bad, but in my opinion, it's like really like powerful. <laughs> it's really good. Um, But anyways, you're going to want to go to Pixlr E and now by clicking open image, you are going to open the template that looks like this make sure it has these like christmas color thingamabobbers on it because it shows like where the middle of the template is and that is what you want and um like the side length and all that stuff use this one for this tutorial i will link it down in the description down below so once you have your template out you're going to want to click layer and then new layer go down to the shape tool and guys oh my god go to draw and then baser it will be your best friend like it is so fun to play around with like look at this like mm, mm, yeah that so amazing you're gonna want to zoom in so you're in the torso area and then you're gonna want to change the outline to one after that you're gonna want to choose the color that you want the outline of the skirt to be so i'm gonna start off with a dark blue and then have the actual skirt a light blue you are going to want to click layer click new layer and now you're gonna to want to make a line which is kind of underneath the second pile of Christmas colors. So you're going to want to click and then drag so it's a straight line. After that, release your mouse and then you're going to want to pull it underneath a little bit. Like I'm not clicking anything or doing anything with my mouse right now except for moving it. And if this happens to you, you're on the right path. And if it's not happening to you, you're probably doing this process totally wrong, which is okay. Just keep practicing. So you kind of want it to have like a little indent and then click anywhere, go to arrange, and then you're going to want to duplicate that and then put it right underneath so there's a little space in between. After that, I'm going to click the second line and then click Control 6 to merge the layers. Once that's finished, you're gonna wanna go back to layer, click new layer, and we're now going to make the little lines that come out of the skirt so it makes it kind of like flowy or whatever. You're gonna want to go to this little shape form tool again and then make sure you're on the line and not busier and then zoom in a bit and now you're gonna want to make a horizontal line that comes out of the bottom line a bit. So I'm going to click and then drag so it's just coming out of the bottom line right here. I'm going to keep doing that so there's at least three lines in your skirt. All right, so once you have your three lines, we are going to make a little small line that's attached to them. So I'm going to click and then drag it just so there's a little space in between the other line. You're going to want to continue to do that on each line and make sure it's on the same length. like so and now i'm going to go to arrange and then just duplicate that flip horizontal and then put it on the other side once that's finished you're going to want to merge the layers only the line layers don't add this in the same layer so just click Control 6 once now here's the funnest part i'm going to create the ruffles for the bottom of the skirt so we are going to want to click that layer and then go back to the shape tool Make sure you're on Bezier, and now you're gonna want to draw a straight line, let go, and make these little indents. Now we're going to make a little line right here and do the same thing, but make sure it doesn't pass this area. So here you're gonna want to do the same thing. You can make it like a little horizontal, but make sure it attaches to the other side right here. Let go and then play around with it like so. Make another line. 
just like that and then bam we'll bam and then make that little line here we'll bam and just make it a little like that so once that's finished you're gonna want to go to the select tool and make sure you're on the outside of these black lines right here so select starting in the corner there and then stop right at this red thing right here don't go past the green don't go past the red make sure it's aligned with the red and then click Control c to copy once that's finished we're going to completely delete these ruffles here this access by selecting it and then click backspace on your computer click anywhere zoom into the bottom of the skirt click Control v to paste line it up in between this black box here now you're going to want to duplicate these ruffles by going to duplicate moving it to the other side here lining it up and you're going to want to merge layers by going Control 6 once duplicating it and putting it on the other side like so merge it Control 6 and now we're going to do the same thing to the other side by clicking duplicate flip horizontal and then fill it in under these black lines here so once you're done with the ruffles you're going to want to merge all the layers now i'm going to zoom in to the torso area and only selecting one half so make sure you don't go past the red and click Control c click anywhere zoom in click Control v go to arrange and then just put it on the other side here and then click flip horizontal and line it up perfectly with the front of the skirt now i'm going to duplicate that click flip horizontal and then put it on the other side once that's finished you're going to want to make the back area so i suggest zooming in and then just completely selecting the torso part click Control c Control v to paste and now line it up with the left side to create the bottom of the skirt you're going to want to click the front of the torso again and then clicking select select that right up click Control c paste that flip vertical this time and now delete this part of the skirt by selecting and then just click backspace on your computer arrange it so it's matching perfectly with the front of the skirt click Control r now you're going to want to click the bottom of the square here and then drag it so it touches the black bar right here click anywhere and then click yes and now you're going to do the same thing with the bottom of the ruffles Ta-da! You have the outline of your skirt, so since they're all part of the same like family, we are going to merge all the layers, so click Control 6 Control 6 To finish it off, we are going to fill in the skirt so it has color, so I'm going to go to Select, and then just making a little rectangle so it's filling in all sides of the skirt. You don't have to like make it as big so it's covering like the top of the torso, just so it's covering the bottom here. And now we're going to click layer, click new layer, and choose a lighter color. After that, you're going to want to go to this fill tool and then just fill it right in. And now you're going to want to click that layer and then drag it underneath the outline layer. So the next part here is to select the extra part. So like see how that's out of the outline. We are going to delete those pieces. So I suggest either using the eraser tool or the select tool. And yeah. So now you're just going to want to fill in the bottom area by making sure you're on the lighter blue layer. Zooming in and just selecting this box right here. Click fill tool and then just fill that right in. And, and now you're going to want to do the same thing with these two bottom areas. So once that's finished, we are going to fill in the ruffles or 
the bottom of the skirt. So I'm going to make a new layer by going to layer, new layer, make a little rectangle filling in these ruffles. So make sure the ruffles are in that rectangle. Go to fill and then just fill that right in. And now we're going to want to drag it underneath only the outline layer and start deleting this access part that we don't need by using either the eraser tool or the select tool. All right, so once that's finished, you are going to want to click that layer again and then move it up so it's on the top. And now you're going to want to duplicate and fill in each side of the leg. Once that's finished, just completely merge them together and click duplicate, flip horizontal, and then add it to the other side. Merge them again. So once you're finished adding them to both sides of the leg, you are going to want to drag it underneath the outline layer again, and then click Control-6 to make it so it's in with the lighter blue or whatever color you picked. Ta-da! So you're probably thinking like, oh, it's so boring, like it looks so weird. That's okay, you are going to want to click the outline layer, go to Filter, go to Drop Shadow, and you're going to want to play around with the offset X by making it line up with the outline, if that makes sense. Like, don't have it like this because it's literally not on the lines and it just looks weird. So just make it so it's lined up with the lines. Like so. And now we're going to play around with the offset Y. So it covers the whole line. If you want to play around with the opacity and the blur, you can obviously do that. But I suggest not to play around with the blur because it just ruins it. But you are going to want to play around with the opacity. Once you're done that, just click apply. Then you're going to want to click these three lines right here and then play around with the transparency. So there you go, you just made yourself a cute, trendy skirt. Um, I hope this wasn't confusing. I feel like it really was. So this is the finished product. I think this is such an easy tutorial that you can do whenever you want. And um, I'm sorry if it might have been confusing because trust me, I tried explaining it as easiest as possible. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for 19k. Mwah! I love you all, and yeah, have a great day!